during my Fulbright fellowship in Israel, I learned about uh, uh, hydroponics. Um, in this country, they don't have uh, enough arable land, then they also don't have a favorable uh, climate condition for agriculture. Uh, therefore, they have been working on developed hydroponics. And I visited a farm where they show me how they can make it profitable. They show me how they can recycle the water. They also told us about the problems that they are facing. So since then, I have been inspired to work uh, to do research on hydroponics and aquaponics to benefit both countries. In the USDA NIFA funded project, we all identify a condition that can control pathogens in hydroponic and aquaponics at the minimum productions of toxic disinfection byproduct. Um, in hydroponic and aquaponics, infection by human pathogens is rare. However, if that happens, that could undermine the confidence of consumer in the product uh, from hydroponic and aquaponics. And in many cases, plant pathogens and fish pathogens are a major issue for those farms, and it could uh, reduce their profits. At Illinois, with funding from USDA NIFA, we work with Dr. Michael Pleva to measure the toxicity of the disinfected water from aquaponic and hydroponic. We work with Dr. Joanna Schisler to develop sanitation methods to control human pathogens in those farms. In Israel, uh, I have three collaborators, Dr. Boris Sover, uh, Dr. Sabat, and Mahasla, who are working on finding a link between the organic matter composition and toxicity in the water that they will collect uh, over there. Our collaborators in Israel uh, are receiving funding from the Israel's Binational Agriculture Research and Development Fund to study the link between organic composition of this water and their toxicity. Illinois Extension Office in Cook County is helping us to develop workshop and education materials so that we can um, translate our results and inform the farmers in the Cook County and everywhere else. Hydroponics and aquaponics are nascent but growing industry in the U.S. in response to the consumer demand on local, natural, and organic food. And our team is in a unique position to learn and to work from our colleagues in Israel because they have uh, uh, been working on this kind of farm for years. Uh, we are not stopping at this project. Uh, we are working with Dr. Becky Smith and her student Brenna Mori to develop a, a modern to predict a pathogen outbreak in aquaponic and hydroponic farm in Chicago area and in West Virginia area.